I know I have talked about this before. So I am not here to destroy the previous teams, but I'm here to fulfill them. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can get a distinction in math literacy. Obviously, I'm talking to grade 12 specifically. So I'm just gonna give you simple tips or simple study tips on how you can get a distinction in math literacy. I've talked about this on my previous video, but most of the ideas there, they were not, or the tips, they were not coming from me. I've researched them. So here I'm gonna give you my tips personally on how you can get a distinction in math literacy. So they are very, very simple. I know they are not complicated. So I'll advise you, if you want to get more information, I'll advise you to watch the first one, which is how to get a distinction in Metzlit. You can just go and click the link in the description. So here I'm just gonna simplify everything. So here's tip number one, which is a very simple thing, is to attend extra classes. What do I mean by that? Many learners, um, they don't take extra classes seriously, to be honest. I have been in metric obviously, and I've seen metric learners, they don't take extra classes seriously. You should take extra classes seriously because they are giving you a different explanation. That's the reason for extra classes, is to get a different explanation. You must not rely on your teacher alone and be like, I'll rely on my teacher alone. You should also attend extra classes so that you can get a different explanation and focus when you are writing and also focus when attending extra classes. So that's number one. I wanted to make this video a little bit quick and a little bit simple. So number two is to practice. What do I mean by that? You need to practice guys, you need to practice. I don't say you should practice every day, but at least make time where you will practice at least mentally, where you will practice mentally. You can make a timetable or something like that, but at least try to make time. Just make time and say, okay, in this time I'll practice mentally or on Wednesday and Thursdays, on Wednesday and Thursday, I am practicing med sleep. So that will help you get a distinction because you will improve, improve. Obviously, when you practice, practice using previous question papers. So that will help you improve. You will improve day by day. If you truly want a distinction, you gotta go an extra mile. I always repeat this on my videos. You gotta go an extra mile. So obviously, if you don't want a distinction, there's, there's no need for you to practice because you don't want a distinction. If you want a distinction, you need to practice and be different from others who don't want a distinction. So you have to practice, practice, practice in order to be well. Practice using a previous question paper. It will benefit you. There's no need for you to practice maybe like five hours or something like that. Even one hour is fine. As long as you make time to say, okay, I'm practicing Metzlit at this time, it's going to be good. Especially if you are good at Metzlit. If you are good at Metzlit, it's going to be more beneficial for you to practice one hour. If you are not really that good, you can extend the time and practice maybe two hours or one hour, 30 minutes. Number three uh, is actually watch some videos uh, or maybe TV where they explain Metzlit questions. It will, it's beneficial, guys. I'm not going to mention the TV show or the TV channel. You all know it where they talk about Metzlit and other subjects, accounting. It's really, really beneficial, guys, especially if you know that uh, you're struggling in Metzlit. It will be beneficial, guys. So even though you are not struggling, you have to watch them. It will be beneficial, guys. It will, it will help you or maybe it will give you a head start when we talk about um, when we talk about Metzlit examination. It will give you a head start. That's actually number three to me. That's number three. Number four is during exam time, you should always practice using previous question papers. That's number four. It's a very simple one. During exam time is to practice using previous question papers. So guys, that's number four. You should practice using previous question papers when you're about to write the exams or maybe you're writing prelims. Practice using previous prelim question papers. So you should just Go ahead and do that. You use previous question papers in order to get an idea of how it feels to write that question paper. Even though the numbers will change, you're gonna do well because you have practiced using previous question papers. Trust me, this this always works. It always works. Even when you're doing accounting, it always works. So in Metzlit, it will definitely work. This is it, guys. These are all um, the the tips that I have for you, which are four tips. They are already tips that I've given you, you can check down in the description. You, you can check down for yourself in the description and watch that video. 
the I've already done the, the other tips. I just thought to myself, let me give you another idea or new tips that can be helpful to you. So another thing I need to say before I end the video is to subscribe to this channel because I am helping you with MedSleep. How will I actually post videos of MedSleep? I will tackle maybe question by question. I will post using previous question papers. Um, let's say I'm answering a previous question paper of November exam, for example. So I'll post, uh, maybe let's say, before you even write, maybe I'm talking about paper one. Before you even write paper one, I'll post all the questions. Um, I will be answering all of them and I will make sure you understand, guys. I'll make sure you understand. So I'll post maybe question one. Uh, maybe, for example, let's say you're writing a November uh, exam, for example. You're writing on 25 November. I'm making an example. I'll post maybe question one on 1 November, on 2 November question 2, on 3 November question 3, like that, you get my point. So I'll make sure I will divide, actually I'll split the videos where I'll be explaining the questions and answering the question papers so that you may understand. I don't want to make a three hour long video and you will get tired when you're, about, when you're done watch, watching a video for one hour and you get tired and be like, let me get out of here. So. It's, best, it's better for me to post maybe question one, 30 minutes where I explain question one so that you may understand. There's no need for me to answer the questions and you don't understand at the end. So I'll try to answer the questions. Uh, what I expect from you is that you should comment down below if you don't understand the, the, the answer that I've given or you didn't hear properly. The answer is to comment down below and I'll make another video where I'll explain that question alone. Maybe let's say you didn't understand 2.3. You just say, okay, 2.3, I didn't understand this and this, and why you didn't understand, then I'll be able to explain. So even though you understand, you should check down the comments and see who doesn't understand. Let's say there's a guy, his name is Jimmy, he doesn't understand 2.3, and you understand 2.3. Please, guys, answer him and tell him, okay, this is how 2.3 is done. Don't just keep quiet with the answers and say, okay, now I'm fine, I know. Let's help each other. So, guys, it will be beneficial for you to subscribe to the channel because... I will be releasing messy videos more but what i need to address is that i will be releasing question one separately question two question three step by step i wouldn't i won't release a video that is very combined like a video maybe i'm answering messy paper one um then i release a video two hour video no I, I won't do that because it will be very very long and i will be tired so i will release question one question two question three so that you guys may understand so that in case let's say i released question one and you don't understand maybe for example 1.3 i can be able to address it and make another video and talk about question one 1.3 and all the questions you don't understand all the questions you don't understand so guys make sure you subscribe because it will be beneficial to you and like the video share the video and go watch the the, the first video that i made on how you can get a distinction on medslead so go watch it, it will be beneficial also. So guys, go check it on the description and watch that video. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.